And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. This is the game of the week on MLB The Show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And we could be in for a pitcher's duel in this one, partner. Both of these arms very capable of controlling the game from the mound. Yeah, and they know that it's going to be tough on the other side for their offense to score runs. So what they're doing is going out there and they're having a battle zeros. Who can put up the most zeros? That's who's going to have the best chance of winning this ballgame. Just about ready to go and getting to start Shohei Otani. And he comes in off a really nice season on the hill, Chris. An ERA in the low twos last year, so consistent, so dependable. Talk about a skipper who's got a guy like that that's going to go out there and not just keep them in the ball game, but really give them an opportunity to win a ball game, even if it's a low-scoring day for the offense. That's who he was last season. And if he's even close to that this year, I think they'll be really happy with his performance. Foul ball there. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Low makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. They're dealing with a top level arm on the mound. So this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. One out, base is empty. Oh. And takes low for ball one. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. That two misses balls. the zone. Two it's two and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Here's Manny Machado. Three hits and 12 trips so far in the series. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0 1. Machado in his 13th season. 32 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Two out spaces empty. And that's down it away. And another ball. And the righty deals. Ball, that's out. Fernando Tatis Jr. in the San Diego on deck circle. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. The right field, Fernando Tatis Jr. Two 
So a man aboard, and the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Right through there for a strike. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. The catcher, Luis so two on with two away. And here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. And that one fouled off. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. The 0 1. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Two left on. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Back here in L.A., pitching in our game today, Jose Barrios. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Now the left fielder, Josh Lowe. The pitch. That one fouled off. Oh, one down. And that's outside. In the air, right field. Tatis after it. He's got it. And there's one away. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this they come to the ballpark they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand here comes a pitch line to left and that'll get down for a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single Third. Tried to get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Just kept his hands yeah. in and turned on the pitch. Quick bat through the zone. And now it's Mookie Betts. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. There's a strike. Takes. Man at first, one away. Right-hander kicks, deals. Three. Got him. Two gone now. Here's Shohei Otani with six hits in the series coming into this one. Barrios a check to first. And he dives back in safely. That one finds the zone. Strike one.
two outs. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. And down on strikes. That's the third out. One left for L.A. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. And here is Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Otani back to work. Oh, and there's a ball. The Otani, an all star a season ago. He throws a slurve, a four seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. Kicks and fires. And there's a foul ball. is bad. Playable Betts makes the grab and there's one away. And there's one down. Now it's Dominic Smith. Oh, Just off the outside edge. And that is ball one. Second inning here, no score. Popped up. And makes the grab. And there are two down. Batting eight, the designated hitter, MJ. Two outs, base is empty. Melendez. And next is the designated hitter, MJ Melendez. Hitless in the series so far. Ball oh, one there. Hoog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Sizing this one up. And he makes the catch. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Here's we Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. The third baseman. Max Muncy. The pitch. And a foul ball. Good eye right there. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. At the belt and fires. Whoa, that's him. Three. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Adolis Garcia steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Just one hit and ten at bat so far in this series. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play.
One down, base is empty. One ball, one strike. Wouldn't chase that time. That one in for a strike, two and two. Kicks and deals. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Dodgers go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Here's Victor Robles. Victor Robles. And he deals. Oh, Just missed. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Good That's eye in that spot. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. Swings and misses. And it's a full count. Well, yeah, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Leading off for the Padres, the shortstop. And the batter will be ha the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. That one missed. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and. You know, close holes that, you know, are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. And a pitch. Robles runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Save! Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for this team. Robles at second with nobody out. The punch out there, and there's one down. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Bogarts stands in now and watches strike one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Pickoff throw. Robles dives back in. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Man at second. And Chris, nope, beyond the fact the that he's so incredible defensively, he also can swing the stick. Next oh, pitch out. is outside. Hey. 
swings through that. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And the right-hander deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And here it comes. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. On the ground. That and that's foul. just foul. And the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Manny Machado now, doubled in his first AB. That's a strike. They must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. And Manny gets a piece. Ball and ball one. one. One ball, two strikes, the count. Runner at second, two down. Here in the finale of this four-game set. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. As we go to the last of the third, here's Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. Now the right-hander ready to go. Nope. Still no Ball score. One. Just missed. Ball one, no fight. And that one lifted in the air center field. And it's caught for the out. Batting none. The first baseman. Joey, Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Gallo. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. Strike on the inside corner. Really important for the pitcher to not get proud, stay with the scouting report, and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling Adam Dunn. Next That's one misses, and now it's even one and one. Lace to right center, base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Everything came together for him. Solid now swing from start to end. Him. On time with everything. Really good balance. Whoa. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Back to the top of the lineup. Josh Lowe steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's 0 for 1. Runner takes off. Eight. Swing and a miss. Oh Throw to second. Ow! Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. In the air, left field. And that 
should be extra bases. And it gets by him. Around second now as they still don't have him. Passes third. He wants it all. The relay throw. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Well, he was trying to get his team on the scoreboard and take a lead here in this ball game, but an outstanding job by the defense. Excellent execution. A bang-bang play at the dish. And they just got him in time. Back here at Dodger Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Hey. That clips the corner. Tatis oh, goes down. six feet, three inches, 215 pounds, and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. pitch swing and a miss struck him out made quick work of him right there Siggy I know that's the kind of at bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering what was he doing up there right yeah and I get that I mean you take two straight strikes then chase one way out of the zone it's it's just not a good at bat it'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter if not worse but there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there and that was one of them for sure digging in Luis Campusano and there's a strike. Good heater at 98. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. And now the count is even. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. way inside and that hit him he had him one two and he ends up hitting him with a pitch runner on at first with one gone next for the Padres Alex Verdugo he's 0 for 1 runner on the goal foul back our way and that's out of play You'll one. Right through there for a strike. Capusano leads off first with one away. That one not close. And it's one and two. Uh-oh. Back-to-back batters hit by a pitch now. Wow, back-to-back -back hit batters. It's certainly concerning, and it kind of makes you wonder where his head's at right now. Dom Smith stands in. First time up was a pop-out. Splits the plate. Going one. Action in the pen down there. Zach Eflin looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. is in for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And a pitch. Three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Now so first and second with two outs. And now the D.H. M.J. Melendez. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Righty delivers. Oh. Just missed. Victor Robles on deck for the Padres. 
Two on, two outs. That hey. pitch gets the inside corner, and it's three and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. And fouled off. Two outs. Bases are full. Close one. Doesn't get the call. One and one. Swings through that one out in front that time. It misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back to the Way ballpark. To John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. Basement. And leading off the Miguel. bottom of the fourth, Miguel Vargas. Vargas. Right-hander back to work. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Here's a 1-1. Fouled off. He was late. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Mookie to hit. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Pulls that one foul. One down, base is empty. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Up next to the dog. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Otani. Had a good eye there. So back in 2023, Shohei hit a home run, stole a base, and had a scoreless pitching outing in the same game. You'll never guess the last person to do it. Pablo Sandoval. Oh, you're good. I feel like I've heard that one before. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count is 2-0. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's two and one. Mookie on the move. Hot shot to third. 
Machado oh. throws to first in time. No chance at the double play the with the runner in motion. Muncy. Here comes Max Muncy. That one's in there on one. Righty to the plate. Fought off foul. Three. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Zach Eflin. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. And now the shortstop, ha Sung Kim. The shortstop, ha Young Kim. The wind of the pitch. There's your strike. You know, these Padres looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit oh, with one. runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. That clips the corner. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Out towards left center. Betts on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Oh, that's a tough play for the infielder yeah, ranging back into the outfield. Okay. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. And here is Xander Bogarts. Hit in the air, right field. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. The third baseman, number 13. And now Manny it's Manny Machado. Machado. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Man at second here with two away. Fernando Tatis Jr. getting ready to hit one for two. And a curve is down and in. Ball one, no strike. Runner at second, two down. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that's the third out. So they can't do anything with a two-out double. Last half of the fifth coming up. No score. Back here in L.A., now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Here comes a pitch. That misses. 
one and oh. You know these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And a one one. Foul ball there. Bounced up the middle. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. The batter now will be Will Smith. Grounded out his first time. Ball one. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. That's inside. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Off the mark there, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right through there, got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now that. And now Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. On the ground right side. Can't glove it cleanly. Now he gets oh, it to down. the pitcher covering the bag. And they do get the third out. The inning is over. So they've been held scoreless through five. And we still have no score. Back here at Chavez Ravine, top of the sixth inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Luis Campusano. Eflin back to work. Now this is in the air down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. And that's a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Low puts it away, one down. Up next to the Padre, the left field. Here's Alex Verdugo. Alex. Verdugo. First offering misses badly for ball one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now, here is Dominic Smith. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. You know, sometimes a throw that bounces into second base can be just as good as a perfect throw in the air. Almost a little bit easier to handle at second base. For me, that caught stealing right there was all about a really poor jump off first. Just didn't time it well. And he was toast after that. 
All tied up. And we're in the top half of the sixth. In one and the one. dirt. And one and one. Yeah. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. The line to kick the pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Just oh, off the inside corner, ball two. It's a good take. And another ball. ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. to the right side and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket two outs ouch that one drilled him on the run throw to first and that will end the inning no runs one hit no errors and no one left nine one and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth no score Of the six. Here's Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. On to first, one away, bottom of the six. Here's the left fielder, Josh Lowe. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And there's a foul ball. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Over to Smith, and a couple of quick outs. Now back, second baseman, Miguel. So up next, Miguel Vargas. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. And that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Two down, nobody on. Ripped on the ground a second. Bogarts with the throw to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and we are still scoreless. And we're back. And now, MJ Melendez. MJ Melendez. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball.
The wind of the pitch. Hey. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. The pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Yeah, that's ball two. That's one you always want as a pitcher. Down at the knees, and it looks to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Left-hand hitter waits. Fights it off. You'll see another. And the next pitch is way outside. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three and two now. And that one hammered back there. And gone! His first homer of the year, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. No doubt in my mind, just about everybody in this ballpark holding their breath on that one. I tell you, just barely snuck it inside the foul pole, and... Talk about a huge swing. That's it in this ball game. Could be the biggest swing of this ball game. We'll see. And now Victor Robles. Oh, and Strike one. one. But just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Comes up empty. No ball, two And that's in the dirt. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the finale of this four-game set. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. He goes down looking. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Kim now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. Kicks and deals. Not okay. close with that one. And now it's three and two. Got 
and swinging. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Here's Xander Bogarts. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Gets the call. That's strike one. Grips one to right, and it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. Bogart's into second. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Daniel Hudson. And that's a big potential now, run out there at the second Dodgers. as he comes in trying to Number keep the 41. deficit where it is. Genial. For the infielders, they got to be thinking Hudson. about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. Manny Machado up to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Left field, low ranging after it. He's got it. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Now it's Mookie Betts. The pitch. That yep, misses no. the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh. Double-barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Kenley Jansen appears to be getting loose. Middleton getting loose as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Turns and fires the bets. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Oh, man. That stays fair. We got a new ball game. Great swing. Just couldn't keep it between the lines. He's got to try to bottle that. Do it again. Bogarts. Jump throw. And Betts oh. is set down. First of all, that's just a nice no, job to even get to that ball. And then even more okay. impressive was the throw. Off balance. Had to try to, in the air, get his shoulders turned and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. And now here's the Dodgers' designated hitter, Shohei Otani. Wouldn't oh, chase boy, that no time. Play. in there and the count even at one there's a sinker at the knees for a strike and the righty deals swings and misses struck him out well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Max Muncy at the dish. First pitch misses. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. That's in for a strike. And another ball. And 
The next offering misses. And a count is three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Left hand batter waits. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. And it's scoring position with two away. And next for L.A., Adolis Garcia. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back well, almost on the warning track. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. So the tying run at second. A little bit high. Now 2-0 oh. with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. And another ball. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Muncy at second with two down. In for a strike. Now three and one. Right through there for his strike. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. Man on second, two down. Three. Got him! And the inning is over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Ryan 56. Yarbrough. Just trying to keep oh, yeah. this one close here, and this is where a oh, bullpen yeah. can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. The Fernando the Tatis, Tatis, Tatis Jr. to Fernando hit here. Tatis one for three. Jr. The pitch. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, it's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Stepping in, Luis Campusano. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A massive home run. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Verdugo in the box here lets that one go for a ball.
Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame, and we're in the top of the eighth. Ball to strike. There's a strike. The pitch. That one hit to right. Garcia makes the grab one down. Now batting the first baseman, Dominic. The new pitcher in the game, Alex Vasilla. Pretty tight game, so they're Number looking for quality pitches out Alex. of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here's the first baseman, Dominic Smith. And a strike. One down, base is empty. And it's winning a miss. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left handed hitter to track. Kicks and fires. Well. What Smith do you got? tries to check his swing. Now a look to third, and he held up. At the belt and fires. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. No swing, he held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. Three. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. MJ Melendez, the next up for the Padres. He's already homered here in this one. That one's in there. 0-1. Oh, one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. JP Fireisen looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Phillips warming up as well. And the pitch. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Got him looking. And the inning is over. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 3 0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Barrios back to work Aye. and there's the strike some hitters are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher they don't care if they fall behind 0 one that one is absolutely belted that's back there and that is gone he circles the bases it's 3-1. He just sparked this home crowd in a big way. What a swing.
So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through it. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That's all for Jose Barrios' two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Kenley Jansen. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So digging in, Teoscar Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Always exciting oh, to see one. a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a pitch. Fly ball down the line. Tatis drifts towards it, reaches for it, but it's foul. Just misses. Gonna count one and two. Three. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. And now it's the Joey Gallo. The first baseman, Joey Gallo. That one fouled off. Hard hit left side. Machado He's throws to first in time. Score at 5 3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. So the batting order turns over. Josh Lowe digs in now. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The Dodgers trailing by two near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's out number three. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. And this is now a 3 1 ball game. The ninth inning is next on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Evan Phillips. Evan Phillips. Here's the center fielder, Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. And connect on the curveball struck him out. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far.
walk him. Ball the next in. to hit takes ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. J.P. Fire Eisen looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The batter. The second baseman. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Bogart. And yep, that's outside. Ball one. And nope. another ball. Two balls, no strike. 2 0. -oh. And that one fouled off. And the right hander deals. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Here's Machado. Off nope. the plate, okay. ball one. On its way to the corner, and that will drop foul. Bogarts, the runner at first with two gone. The one, two. That one ball. just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. This to third. They get the force, and that is that. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the nine. It's the Padres three, and the Dodgers one. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, number one. A chance at his first save of the year. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The second baseman, Miguel Vargas. And a pitch. Inside just missed. And that's off the inside edge. And now 2-0. And here it comes. And ball that three. one's a little bit low. And that's three ball out. three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Ball well, can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And a pitch. Hey!
Inside three and two the count. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. He's two outs away. Here's Mookie Betts. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Now this one's crushed down the line. Fucking foul ball. Well, he's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it, hit it hard, had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment, let it travel a little more, and see if you can keep that thing fair. Down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. On the ground to third. Over to Smith. Oh. Two up, two down. Up next for the Dodgers. The designated hitter. So they're down to their final out. Next is the Dodger DH, Shohei Otani. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And that one a little below the knees. And that's ball one. Just oh, missed. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. That one misses. And now 3 and 0. Oh. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. And he walked nope. him on four pitches. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Two outs, runner at first. Max Muncy steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Step off, throw to first. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. With the tying run at the plate, here the last half of inning number nine. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Just missed. Well, knowing that this hitter's got holes in his swing, because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. Tying run at the plate. Pounding ball here, rolls foul. Left hand hitter waits. Pitch is in there. And the count's full. 3-2, two, two cool. out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Outside, and that is ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum. Very quickly, they're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Substitution now at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Junior Caminero. So two down, and now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. A big swing and a miss. You know, he can move the ball oh, around, one, right add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So, you know. Sends it to center, and this should be it. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres avoid the sweep 
They take the finale of this four game series. Well his first save of the season is in the books and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Dodgers, one run on six hits. No errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 41 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, a sellout. 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending today's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.